requires responsible fiscal management. Um, you know, you talk about what's New York done. New York City's, we started just talking about S&P cutting the federal government's credit ratio, uh, credit to rating. Uh, does anybody realize what's happened to New York City's credit rating in the last 10 years? It has been raised, upgraded, uh, several times over the past nine years. We are at an all-time high, thanks to the fiscal decisions we've made, and uh, it's fair to say the U.S. government is now at an all-time low. So we must be doing something right. Who is doing it? It's the public who reaches into their pockets and says, yes, I want to pay more taxes and uh, invest in infrastructure because I don't want to make the mistakes of the 70s. It's the uh, public who reaches into their pocket and say, we're going to build more classrooms, a record number of classrooms, or build more parks, or uh, have more cops in the streets so we're safe. None of this comes for free. And I think this, uh, the policies that the public has endorsed in this city in the last 10 years are the right ones to help New Yorkers through tough times. So I'm going to keep finding new ways to keep our city working. Yes, Ms. Yes, question? Um, so, you know, with, with S&P having such a favorable view of New York, um, do you agree with its ratings, and do you think that they should have, that they were right to downgrade? Uh, I think that the, the dis I, I have no idea what their standards are to raise or lower, but what they describe is, a, I thought, a very accurate description of the disaster that is taking place in Washington, and uh, their... Uh, the, uh, I don't know if they said it or somebody said it could, we could have other downgrades. Unless Washington does something here, that's exactly what's going to happen. You know, don't shoot the messenger. S&P, their rating is simply a way of saying in one letter, or in this case, two letters and a plus sign, uh, what's going on. And it's, it's, it's terrible. And it's not just the fact that they finally reached a debt sale. Nobody cared whether they reached the settlement on raising the debt ceiling. The fact of the matter that this country could talk about uh, 10 hours before they did it of defaulting on their debts. What, what do we think about what, what happened? You can get the last question. Yeah. Yeah. Mayor, Amanda was arrested over the weekend for stalking your daughter. Are you concerned about your family's safety at all? And no, I'm very comfortable with the NYPD. Question, uh, yeah. 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 question for Dennis Walcott. Good um, question for Dennis Walcott. Fourth last question. Okay. Okay. Just a question on the school in the you Bronx. Um, we understand that the problem was discovered because the lease was up. Are, are um, these problems only tested for when leases are up? And if so, is, is that sufficient? So back in 2002, when we took control of both the SCA and the Division of School, Schools Facility, uh, the mayor merged both the organizations, and we now have one as a result of that merger. And we started reviewing leases on a regular basis, and as part of our regular review, uh, this school popped up in a, a PS51 up in the Bronx. And so as a result of the regular review, we discovered uh, an environmental problem. We've now indicated to the parents and the school community that the school will not open in September. We are finding a new location. We're in discussions right now with a potential number of sites and part of our regular review process moving forward. I think we have 31 more leases uh, to review. And we've indicated that we'll have to complete within another two months. So we're going to finalize all the lease reviews and as well as all the procedure. Um, let me just summarize. This really is something that our teachers and students and parents should be proud of. They raise, make the test more difficult, and still, once again, another year, I think it's happened virtually every year, compared to the only bellwether we have for students in the rest of the state, our students have come through. This should be an impetus to the teachers to teach more and harder and better. It should be an impetus to the students to study harder and focus more. It should be an impetus to the parents to make sure that their kids understand just how important education is. Our kids' futures are in their hands. We can blame everybody else and we can do everything we can, but in the end, particularly when you get to high school, it's the students that just have to understand the importance of education and that if they study hard, there really is 